inputs, your language, your culture, your religion, just know this is what groomers and grooming gangs do to their victims. Let me tell you what they're doing. They're seeing what you have so that when they step in like the other dream visions pointed to the fact how they will do it. As the other dream vision about the yellow fox, they will step in to clear the revolutionaries they set up to bring about the situation and then they will dismantle every group, every prepper group. They will get rid of you. They have no friends only interests. Their words not mine. They operated like a lone wolf on the world stage, biting, gnawing at everyone that was weaker and in the end they shall be taken down alone, just as they had done to other nations. By God's grace only a small portion of it will survive. Are you people really that silly and naive to trust a people who pushed you under the bus and then want to take their hand? They need us more than we need them. If they want to help, why did it take them almost 30 years to come to us? Get close find out your plans and then take you down, perceived threats are real threats in their mind. You can talk all day about protecting your people, they will not see it like this. After all no one protects the world like Captain America, just ask Zelensky in Ukraine how that's working out. We have one friend, you know who that is. The Most High, the God of Israel. Only one friend, one who will not let you down, one who will not sell you out. The West are now in a desperate state. Today looking for allies, because they have none. When Russia fully takes Ukraine as the dream vision showed, they will be as powerful as the United States, Europe will fracture. Just today I read online one of the European countries is sounding the alarm and having cold feet namely the Czech Republic. They will play along until it's crunch time. When Europe sees what Russia is about to do in Ukraine, they will get cold feet, there will only be a few who side with the West and it will be too late. The events and clock now cannot be turned back. If you want to be pushed under the bus again, sure go ahead. I prefer the once bitten twice shy model. Fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you. The seer mentioned, turn your back on the world. I am not saying throw caution to the wind, I am saying call out, pray to the Most High, He is our salvation. This is all part of God's plan, it does not mean you sing Kumbaya and throw caution to the wind. We have to be the most vigilant during these dark days which will get colder and darker. I will leave this here for now, think about it, if in doubt pray read your Bible, call upon the Messiah. I plan to continue writing this tomorrow and the rest of the week continuing with world events. I saw clearly they will step in, they will dismantle any group, anyone that stands in the way of their new world order. They will appear and try win you over only to dig, to find out what you are up to, then later throw you under the bus. This is the real world. I always said big groups are great but also make for easy targets. You must know, in this world there is no truth. Money, power, greed fuels all nations. Perceived threats will not be tolerated whether real or imaginary. Nations drunk on power are like schizophrenics, they see what they want to see and ignore what they do see. No matter how good your intentions are, no matter how many people you wish to help, if it is not part of their plans it is seen as a threat. Again, you see world events how they are unfolding. The seer mentioned many of them, they are taking shape and so take heed. You do not need to believe his words but take his advice and consider when he said, you will be stripped naked before the world, humiliated on the world stage. It is only once you turn your back on the world will things come right. You followed the west, like he said, you knelt before the west while the back wall of the thatched roof came down and now, what have you got? You have no language, no country to call your own, no jobs because sorry too male, too pale, you have nothing but murder. You have a corrupt court system allows revolutionaries to sing songs about massacring you and this is the democracy the world brought you. The one vision I saw. I saw we were looking all around the world and then we stopped we looked within the country to the east and. I believe it is part of the last Borlars when the nation will turn their backs and turn back to God. No nation has ever saved another nation. 
as I mentioned, if they were going to save you, why did it take them 30 years to even come out to speak to you? Why did they wait close to 30 years? Why did they not say anything 15 years ago about the race-based laws if they were so democratic and anti-race laws? They are not coming to make friends, they are coming to dismantle the perceived threat under the guise of telling you no hope is coming, that you stand alone. It is not us who stand alone, it is them who are alone and they are using the present situation to their advantage. See the situation in the context of the world and events unfolding. If the house is on fire and they are the only people who show up then you know who set the fire and who is behind the fire. Our destiny is not their business, if they were so worried why not split the country up? If they were so concerned where were they 15 years ago? Anyone whispering in your ear while the fire is burning down is busy grooming you. If you understand how grooming gangs work, then it's very easy to see. They prey on your weaknesses, they then make nice offers and then they rape you or send you into the meat grinder like in Ukraine. Do you want to be a sex slave or end up in the meat grinder? Those will be the only two outcomes, call upon the Most High. Call upon God the Almighty is the only one we serve and whom our ancestors made a covenant with. No one else. Which nation rescued the Israelites out of Egypt? Which nations rescued Judah out of Babylon? Can any nation make water come out of a rock or separate the waters in which the people walk to their freedom? When you find a nation that can do what the Almighty can do, let me know. It is the Almighty who has sent the message and given the message, in July 2019 I relayed the message, the videos stand as a testament, the world witnessed it. In eight months time, tell this nation, tell the Africana white tribe on the southern tip of Africa that their century of bondage will end in eight months time and their chains will come undone. You saw what took place in March, I put the video out in February 2020 telling you to watch for the signs about to take place in March 2020 which will signal this event. Did you miss the sign? Did you miss the fact that planet Earth went into lockdown, that was your signal and now the chains are coming undone, not by any nation's hands but by God Almighty? Did Russia enter Europe? Did commodity prices rise? Is there a talk of famine? Is China not preparing for war? Is Turkey not preparing for war? Did Turkey not enter Libya? Did the Polish not get and send weapons? Did Boris Johnson not put on war clothes? Did the Italian parliament not collapse? Is there not an Islamic insurgency on our borders? Did India not stand up to the West? Are not the lights going out in Europe? Did not the French vessels arrive? Did something not just take place in Limpopo with the Zimbabweans? Is Nagorno-Karabakh not in the spotlight? Is there not a second virus outbreak? Are the economies on the brink of collapse? How's the stock market doing? Did not the event take place Krakshekzinova which was step one complete which saw Russia enter Ukraine shortly afterwards? Praise the Almighty, by his mighty hand and through his grace these events take place. Things will get dark, people will lose faith, but the covenant is an everlasting covenant. Think on these things, contemplate them, ask for the answer in prayer. Seek God do not trust a word I say, pray call upon the Most High for the truth. The Alpha, the Omega is your first port of call, everything else is noise. May God Almighty confuse them as he did to the Egyptians. May he make every nations and people stumble who wish to do us harm and may the Almighty deliver the enemy into our hands more importantly may he make them make peace with us. May they stumble in confusion and be blinded by the Most High should they wish to do us harm and bless those who speak our truth. I now continue from where I left off writing this yesterday on the Monday which was the 24th of August. I'm writing this for the 23rd of August going into the 24th, it is being written in the early hours of the 24th of August. This morning, while praying I was asking about many things to come to me and after praying I prefer to sit quiet some people call this time meditation. This is what I do to clear the mind and call upon the Most High. While sitting down, the following scene began to play before me, 
while it was playing out I did not realize it was playing out. Only once it finished playing out did I realize that it was a vision of what I had prayed for. Praise the Almighty. These are meditation visions, they come to me after praying. They do not happen often, I think I have only had about four maybe five over the years. Before me, I am in the air I am looking down on Europe from above the Mediterranean, I see the entire Europe and North Africa. Before me I see clearly France but specifically Paris and I see many people moving out of the cities, these are French. I see in the coming months many French and Europeans will begin to leave the cities due to the coming tensions with migrants. Before me, I see on the high seas a French vessel that looks like an old ship from the centuries gone by and it clashes with a Turk sea ship in the center of the Mediterranean. I see more and more tensions with France, the result will be a spilling over of Islamic, Muslim tension throughout Europe, throughout every major city in Europe. France is going to feel it the most, then I saw those Nordic countries again and it will increase their this tension with the migrants. I saw it play out, it played out so clearly, it was as if I was watching a movie play out. Now it goes hand in hand with what I mentioned yesterday. This clash with France could very well be the NATO 250 tsunami which I mentioned on the channel. Italy and France finding gas off the coast of Cyprus is simply to clash with the Turks. It is not about gas exploration, it is about meeting the threat of the increasing Turkish presence in the Mediterranean. Remember France controls more of the oceanic space than any other nation including America. Its territorial waters are the largest in the world. With the economic impact hitting Europe all mentioned months before all this took place. In fact if you go back to 2020, in February I said the virus was unleashed to stop the economic crash but the economic crash about to hit after this will be the economic storm. In that video in February 2020. I also was shown in the dream vision which has been mentioned a number of times China will not sit back like before but this time they would retaliate and that Turkey was preparing for war. Go back it's on the channel, this is not hindsight. The dream vision praise the Almighty was foresight. We see that unfolding before our eyes, sometimes I wish I did not have to wait for them to take so long to play out but it's not in our hands. The migration into Europe is going to only increase and the clash with Turkey, the Islamic world also aligning with the Russians, Chinese will bring more tension to a Europe already under economic stress. The only way to hold back the jackals now is to unleash the beast. If the beast is not unleashed in Europe, Europe will vanish. The sleeping beast in Europe is Germany. As the seer mentioned, they have been and are preparing. I can see many of their moves so clearly praise God for the seer's visions, so many things Germany is doing that if you did not know the seer's words, you would think they are stuck or cannot do anything with this present situation but this is not the case. The way they are maneuvering now in Europe is going to in time be seen as the greatest chess moves in the history of European civilization. These Germans are super, super smart with their moves. I do not mention him not to sound smug but because those German twins, the beast needs to be released and may God be with Germany. With the vision about the Islamic tension in Europe, it will be Turkey behind this. How many fighting age men have entered Europe? millions more than 518 million, some might even say closer to 30 million. Europe is being invaded, the Trojan horse and as mentioned it began with them dropping the guards with the rainbow nation in South Africa. God is amazing, he blinds the nations which are not for him. Those nations who all clung to their intellectualism forgetting him, have all been blinded with a false utopia but in reality it is hell which awaits them. I see severe tension in Europe. Why else would I have seen the French leaving the cities in all directions? If you go back to the earlier videos, I mentioned that when the economic crisis hits I see severe tensions in Europe. When money, resources, people be me poor they no longer operate from the same mindset of the happy-go-lucky, good-feely types.